Hey guys, my name is Kenny. I've been using the Ordinary Peeling Solution for one month and I'm gonna let you know what my thoughts are. I'm gonna show you how to apply it and I'm also gonna show you my results week by week. Now this peeling solution is a chemical exfoliant. To exfoliate my face, I've always used physical exfoliators. Physical exfoliators are usually the ones that come with little beads. After trying out a few of those, I decided to try a chemical exfoliator for the first time. And at $7.20, this is one of the cheapest you can find. The problem with the physical exfoliator is that you might get micro tears in your skin, which is why people often look at chemical exfoliators instead. When you buy the ordinary peeling solution, it comes in this box. On the front, it says The Ordinary, Direct AIDS AHA 30% plus BHA 2% Peeling Solution, and it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. On the side of the box, it says it visibly targets textural irregularities and lackluster tone. On the website itself, it tells you exactly what the AHA does and what the BHA does. AHA stands for Alpha Hydroxy Acids, and this exfoliates the skin's topmost surface for a brighter and more even appearance. BHA stands for Beta Hydroxy Acids, and this also exfoliates the skin with an extended function to help clear pore congestion. This combined 32% AHA BHA solution offers deeper exfoliation to help fight visible blemishes and for improved skin radiance. And like the box said, it's also supposed to improve skin texture. The website also says it can reduce the look of fine lines if you keep using it. Now before you apply it, the directions say to clean your face and wait for your skin to dry. I already washed my face and hands, so now I'm going to show you guys how to apply it. It says to apply evenly across face and neck using fingertips, avoiding the eye area. Some people make the mistake of putting the dropper on their face, but you should avoid doing that so you don't contaminate it. Once you put it on, you should not leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Now this is what it looks like when you put it on. Make sure to wash your hands as soon as you're done. Like I said, you're not supposed to leave it on for more than 10 minutes, so I already have a timer set up. The two most important things to remember is that you can't leave it on for more than 10 minutes, and you can't use it more than twice a week. I've been using it once a week so far, but I might start using it twice a week. When you have this on, you might feel a little bit of stinging. I feel it in a few spots right now. If you have any cuts or scrapes, then it will start to burn. I'm gonna go wash this off, but first I'm gonna show you my results week by week up until this point. And this is what my face looked like five minutes ago after washing it off. And now this is what my face looks like after giving it a few minutes and after applying moisturizer. Your face may get red after you wash it off, but just give it a few minutes and it should go away. The first thing you'll notice is how clean your face will feel. That's because it gets rid of all the dead skin cells. As soon as I wash this off, I immediately notice how clean my skin feels, and also how soft it is. Some facial scrubs don't make your skin that soft. I've only used one that actually made it really soft. In terms of softness, this peeling solution gets it pretty close to what I'm used to, without worrying about damaging my skin from all the scrubbing. I don't notice a huge difference going week by week, but maybe you guys notice something. I pretty much just notice how my skin feels before using it, and then after using it. At just $7.20, this is definitely something you guys should check out. Make sure to go to their website and check out the reviews because this is not for everybody. I've only been using this once a week, but I'm probably gonna start using it twice a week now. 
and I'm gonna make another video on this once I reach three months. I would love to know if you guys can see a difference. Also, let me know if you have any questions. Again, my name is Kenny. Like this video if I helped you out and subscribe for more videos just like this.